There's just one final thing, and then I'm going to send you guys on your way to explore Mapbox Studio probably even better than I, I know it. And uh, so it's kind of an exciting stage here. But you might have noticed previously with some map tile sets that when you zoom in and out on a map, not only do things appear that weren't there before the generalization lessons, but also uh, like they kind of transparently come into view or even color schemes change. And I want to show you how to do that because it can be a really effective way of going, say, from a, a dark ground to a light ground, depending on the scale. So if we um, click here in my Bemidji, as you can see, I'm going to click on base map color here. And I'm going to um, come up here. And where it says color, we can change, as I showed you early on, you can change the base map color, right? That's not anything new. But let's go here to enable function. And let's enable zoom function. So right now, from zoom level zero, which is global, all the way to the, the highest zoom level, which is you know, sub-local here, it stays the same color. But what we could do is change the color that it is when you zoom in. So let's do that. Let's change this to something darker or maybe even um, this is all pretty ugly isn't it all right let's let's change it to a largely black at scale 22. now if you look up here it's a linear rate of change so from scale 0 to 22 it's going to go from very light gray to black we can also change how quickly or where it changes so we could add a stop and we could say that it stays uh, let me see what this one is here 247 so we could say that this stays at 247 uh. Sorry, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but it doesn't like it when I'm playing around. Well, here. Eh. Case in point, as we zoom in and out, the color should change. Indeed, it turns to black when we get all the way zoomed in. So this is a way that you can manipulate color as you zoom in. Now, that's great, but you have to worry about the other colors changing as well. Water is a big one. In addition to changing the color of something, you can also change the transparency. So let's change this transparency from 1 to 2% when you zoom way in. And as we zoom in, the water should be getting lighter. Well, actually, it should be getting darker because the ground is getting darker behind it. Roads, let's go to the roads. So the roads, let's say we don't want the roads to show up too early on. Like even here, maybe this is, we don't want any roads at this scale. So let's go here, opacity, enable the zoom function. And right now we're at 8.9. So let's say that we want opacity to be zero until someone gets to level 9, at which point we want um, them to gradually get bigger. So we'll set scale 9, we'll set also at 0. So the roads will stay 0 at zoom level 0, and at zoom level 9 they will start in a linear path to get um, more opaque. So let's zoom in and see what happens. I have no idea where we are in the world, so let's zoom out first. Oh, we're up by Bemidji. Okay. Delightful. Let's zoom in on my home city of Duluth. So as we zoom in, no roads. Now see, faintly, you'll see the roads starting to get more and more opaque. So this is a really neat technique for highlighting certain things. I did it with the snowmobile trails too. You can see the snowmobile trails coming into view. Um, it's a great way to, to make sure that things don't just abruptly appear, to make it, things seem gradual. 
Um, we can do it with these silly face icons too. So this is how you can style it. You can actually change whole color schemes. You can flip them. The ground becomes dark. Uh, the figure light or vice versa. You can totally swap contrast. And this is one reason you can have multiple color schemes in a single map. Have fun. Keep experimenting. There's so much you can do with this program. It's insane. And thanks for watching. Good luck with your map box endeavors.